All right, guys. So we're on our last lesson, actually, for Unit 1 on place value. So let's get started. All of these are going to be working on your critical thinking and making reasons to explain why the answer is or is not correct. So our first one says the population of Gerald City is 300,027. Gerald wrote that number as this. Emily lives in a city that has a population of 316,042. Gerald concluded that his city's population is greater than the population of Emily's city. Does Gerald's explanation make sense? Well, first, I'm going to start out by writing what his number actually is. We have 300,000. And notice how it says thousand and then it says 27 so that means it's actually going to look like this 300,000 meaning that comma 27 it doesn't say 327,000 this thousand is connected with that three so now we have these two numbers to compare so does his explanation make sense is his city actually bigger when it's this size? No, his explanation doesn't make sense. So what we're going to put is this. Gerald did not write the population of his city correctly. And I'm going to go back and spell check when I'm all done. He did not write the digits in the correct place. What I think Gerald was trying to do was he thought his number was actually this, 327,000. In which case, he would have been correct. But that isn't really his number. All right, so for number five, it says, construct a math argument that explains why Gerald did not write the population correctly. So why did he write it correctly or incorrectly? It's because the digits for 27 with that hyphen, belong in the ones period. Gerald should have written what we had to start with that we modeled, 300,027. Excellent job, guys. Okay, now our next one. Correct Gerald's argument. Explain how to compare the population of Gerald's and Emily's city. So, Gerald's city is 327,000 and Emily's is 316,042. The greatest place value where the digits are different is what? Is, and let's look, is this 10,000 spot right here? And right here. So the greatest place by where digits are different is the 10,000. And then what do we do? Gerald needs to compare compare what? He needs to compare 0 and 1 instead of two because remember all the way back at the top he thought it was a two he was comparing because those are my numbers in the place value emily city has a larger population all right let's head on to our next part so now we're going to be looking at some planets the planets in our solar system are different sizes as shown below Nora conjectured, meaning Nora made, a pause, or made an educated guess, that Jupiter's equator is about 10 times as long as Earth's equator. What information do you have? So looking at these, what information do we know? We know the lengths of the equators of four planets, and we know Nora's conjecture. I like how they use that word instead of just knowledge or guess. Now remember, we need to explain clearly as it's reminding us down here. I'm going to zoom out a bit so we can see more of this. 
And it's not going to let me type in these boxes, so I'm just going to delete them to get rid of them. What are possible estimates for the lengths of the equators of Jupiter and Earth? So possible estimates means we're rounding. So rounded to the nearest. And what place value should we round to? Um, well, Jupiter's in that 100,000, so I'm going to round it to the hundreds thousand. Rounded to the nearest 100,000. Jupiter's equator is 400,000. Because remember, I will go next door, and that's going to make me round down. I'm going to spell check now. Nearest. And now, what do I know about Earth's equator? Earth's equator rounded to the nearest 10,000 is 400,000. Remember how I got that is this is my largest place time, so I'm going to round by looking next door. That zero will make me round down. So now let's head to number nine. What is the relationship between the estimates you found for the lengths of the two equators? Well, looking at it, I see it's been slid over one place value, which means it's ten times as great. So what is it? The relationship between the two equators is that... Jupiter is 10 times as large as Earth. And then just to restate it in math terms, I'm going to put 400,000 is 10 times four, 40,000. All right, our last one, it says construct an argument justifying or saying why Nora's conjecture is correct. So what do we have here? We're going to put this Jupiter's equator is about 400,000. And I'm going to put its unit for this one since it's my final argument. And Earth's, and I need that capital, sorry, and Earth's is about 40,000 kilometers. Since 400,000 is 10 times 40,000. Oh, there we go. It is 10 times 40,000. It just went behind her clothes. Jupiter's equator is about 10 times Earth's equator. So I'm restating her conjecture. And that's showing with the numbers why it's true. And then we just need to restate Nora's conjecture that she is correct. Nora's conjecture is correct. We could put accurate, is true, any of those. All right, guys, that's it for Lesson 1-5. We do have a test tomorrow, so good luck.